My name is Raywin Snodderly and I have Terry's Pharmacy in La Falla and in Jacksboro and I've been a pharmacist for 10 years. In La Falla, we are a mountain town. We are in rural Appalachia. Our population is around 40,000. We do have a lot of nice industries. Tourism is a huge economic boost here. However, we have these pockets of poverty. And unfortunately, drug abuse and misuse is very common here. I first heard about Generation RX last year at RBC in the opening session and Steve Lawrence was discussing how pharmacists can impact their community through outreach and brought up Generation RX. This program came to us, it really kind of fell in my lap in a way of a big old sucker punch in the gut like, let's get this rolling. After we got back from the conference and everything was just so busy, something just kept speaking to me, come on, let's do this, let's bring this to the community. I surrounded myself with a good team. I partnered with Community Health of East Tennessee and I had a good friendship with Phyllis Klinger. Phyllis is a retired school educator, so I understand the clinical aspect of medications and addiction, but I don't know how to teach. I received a phone call from Raywin one afternoon at work and she said that I might have some information that we could consider and just see how we might be able to plant this seed and make it grow. The Generation RX program is so easy to use. It's a unique assortment of some worksheets, there's films, there are game formats. It's perfect. It gives us many opportunities. When we met with the superintendent, we had already printed out sample lesson plans and portions of the Generation RX curriculum. And 15 minutes into our meeting, he asked us to stop, and he went to get the elementary and the secondary supervisor to have them come in because he was excited about it too. Phyllis and I decided that we needed a third person in the venture that could act as a liaison between myself and my students and then the school system and set those program times up. And so Mr. Poston applied for the position. He's retired superintendent of schools and it was a natural fit. The things that interest me about Generation RX are the very fact that they're dealing with the basic problems that every family faces. So if we can get that message to those children, they will share it with their parents because we're all affected by the plague of prescription drugs and drug abuse. Okay, so today we are here again to do part two of Generation RX. I kind of throw myself in there. I don't stand behind a podium. I don't lecture. We play games. We make it fun. And I let them know they're in a safe place. So we become that trusted adult for them. This is the wave, I think, of what we need in education. If we can cause or help one or two of those children or more. Avoid some of the pitfalls that are associated with prescription drug abuse or drug abuse in general, then we feel like we've accomplished our purpose. We ended up being able to offer Generation RX information to roughly 450 to 500 students for the first year. And at the end of the eight weeks, we have a formal graduation ceremony where they receive certificates stating that they graduated from the program. I'm just so proud and happy and glad that others are wanting to hear this message. And every opportunity that we get to share our story, we're going to share it. That's exactly right. We learned keeping it in its original container. What else did we learn? Generation RX came to me at a time when I think I needed Generation RX as much as my community needed Generation RX. It is providing tools to kids to make lifelong choices. Doing something to give back to your community, to let them know that, hey, drugs don't have to take over lives and destroy families like they've done, really go a long way.